Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome in to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. It's Rick, it's Reed Abedin, it's Eddie Soda. Those are the partners of the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can always go to the website to learn more, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Uh, if you have questions, hey, Rick, I think I've done enough to be able to retire. I think we've got enough to be able to retire. Don't really know, but I think we're on the right track. What do you think? Well, all you do is pick up the phone and call them. That's what they do. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group is really trying to help you create your very own big picture blueprint, if you will. Income, investment, taxes, healthcare, legacy planning, Social Security, Medicare, all those decisions you have to make in retirement. Call the team. You have questions. 800 700 1980. 800 700 1980. I'm Mark Kelly. Glad you're with us today. Rick, you ready to go? We're going to talk about some of the challenges in retirement. Yeah, let's do it, Mark. I'm all I'm all for it. So, you know, when you think about for a long, long time, it's always been, what's your number one concern? First, it was public speaking, right? The fear of public speaking. <laughs> yes. yes. Then for retirees, it was, will my money last as long as we need it to? Well, now there's new, uh, I guess, a list out, if you will, about some of the money challenges in retirement. And this comes from Money Talk News. But what are the biggest concerns you feel like your clients are talking to you about when you when you chat with them? I guess, you know, one of the concerns is outliving their money. And obviously that's that's a big one. And then besides that, you know, there's other concerns such as they are concerned about health care costs. You know, they don't want to get caught by surprise. They're worried about taxation. They're worried about long-term care. There's a variety of different concerns and, and everybody's concerns are different. But I, I would say probably the biggest ones would be they don't outlive their money. I would say taxes, which is a big one. And then also um, medical, healthcare costs, long-term care, that type of thing seems to be some of the more popular things that people bring up initially. Yeah. And, you know, you think about it, Rick, you've been doing this for over 20 years. So different times create different concerns, different fears, if you will. Because if you went back to 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I mean, it kind of keep going for a while. Inflation was not a concern whatsoever. Yeah. Now it is more of a concern, especially in 2022. This year, maybe not as much as inflation's kind of softened a little bit. But healthcare costs, I mean, when you started 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, healthcare costs have always been going rising faster than inflation. I can, I mean, we don't know how long we're going to be here, number one. And number two, we don't know if we're going to have a health issue or a loved one will have a health issue. Those are huge unknowns. How does the big picture blueprint attack something like that when we don't really know it's kind of let's hope for the best, but plan for the worst kind of a thing. Yeah. You know, what we do is, you know, we'll sit down with somebody and everybody's situation is different. This is what I mean. When it comes to planning for healthcare costs, obviously there's a lot of unknowns, but we have to be prepared in some way so that we're not caught by surprise. So we'll sit down with somebody and figure out, you know, hey, some people have different health issues. Some people might have, you know, arthritis. Other people have diabetes. Some people have high blood pressure. We actually work with a, a Medicare planning expert. So we can actually not only help people decide, hey, what's what's the best plan for me to get on that might cover me specifically based upon my issues in order to minimize costs, you know, based upon my specific needs and prescription costs and all the rest of it. But based upon their situation, what we can do is we can actually educate our clients based on other clients that we have, we have, we have, we've been dealing, again, we've been in this industry for over two decades. So what we can do is we can actually share ideas that our current clients have been using that are in the same situation that they're in or very similar situation, what they've been doing in order to address some of these things. That way, hopefully they're not caught by surprise and, you know, we could, they'll be a little bit more educated when it comes to that whole healthcare planning process. And again, we bring an expert in to help us with some of these decisions when it comes to like the Medicare planning portion and healthcare uh, portion of it. Sure. And, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in retirement, a lot of things that we need to be aware of. Uh, and it's one of the, the things that Rick does on this show. He wanted you to have the opportunity to get some retirement guides. Maybe if you're just 
thinking about it. Hey, I, we're thinking about retiring maybe in five to eight years. Let's kind of start doing some research. Well, all you have to do is text the word toolkit to 951-667-4969. That's 951-667-4969. And just on the text, just put toolkit and you're going to get retirement guides that cover different areas of retirement. And you'll also get Reed's a webinar, about a 30-minute webinar that talks about their big picture blueprint process and how it kind of works out for the clients at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. All of that is yours for absolutely no cost whatsoever. It's really there for your information. Again, just text the word toolkit for the retirement guides in the webinar, toolkit to 951-667-4969, 951-667-4969. And you started with the really the concern you still hear from people the most is, do I have enough? Will my money last as long as I need it to? And certainly healthcare, longevity, all those are factors in that. How do you know if somebody's actually saved enough? You know, we actually conduct an analysis on, on their scenario. We look at the income. We look at the expenses. We look at lifestyle. We look at what some of their goals and objectives are. I mean, there's a variety of things that we look at. And then once we analyze that, we actually can sit down with the client and say, and let them know, hey, realistically, what is the likelihood of your money, your pensions, all this, everything that you have coming in, lasting the rest of your life based upon your specific situation? And we actually can, you know, actually run a mock tax return for the client as well. So we literally sit down with them based upon their specific situation and let them know what's realistic and also what's not realistic, you know, based upon their savings. So that way, going into retirement, once again, there is no surprises. They'll know exactly what income that they're going to be receiving. They'll know exactly how the income is going to come in, but also understand that, hey, under the worst case scenario, if the market crashes tomorrow, how can I rely on this income? We need to make sure we can rely on that income no matter what, and that my standard of living, I don't have to sacrifice my standard of living. And how do we do that? You know, And then you know, making sure that if there's any medical concerns and all the rest of it, that all goes into a game plan that we set up for the client. And then again, by them looking at it, it gives them confidence. They have the education. And then we make sure whatever plan is set up that it's being constantly reviewed and adjusted based upon changes in their own life or changes in the economy or, or world events or whatever happens. But bottom line, it's really creating that game plan, that big blueprint. Yeah, absolutely. Because a big picture blueprint is not just written in stone because life happens, things happen. Uh, so it's got to adjust and change with the economy, with healthcare situations, with just everyday living. Things happen. That's a great opportunity for you, I think. One of the things you also brought up, besides the fear of outliving our money, is taxes. And taxes, I think a lot of people think, well, Rick, come on, we don't have any control over taxes because that's the IRS and the government setting the tax codes and all of that and the brackets. We know they're changing January 1 of 2026. At least that's what we think is happening. So there's some moving parts there. Taxes are one of those things that we actually have control over probably how we pay those and how we put ourselves in a better position later on in life, maybe. 100%. And, and this is the thing, you're right. So many people, when it comes to taxes, they just assume there's nothing they can do. And they live kind of like a little bit in a, in a vacuum when it comes to that. And so many times we get people that tell me, well, Rick, you know, if my tax repair hasn't shared any ideas with me or my stockbroker hasn't shared any ideas with me, I assume there's nothing I can do. This is the area that we specialize in. And it's, it's interesting because I just had a, a call uh, with a client today and we were talking about that. And he's like, Rick, you know what? I put money into my 401k, you know, earlier in my career, you know, you're always told, again, you read these general rules of thumb, you know, put money in your 401k and your IRA, save money in taxes now. He's all, now that I'm retired, you know, the kids are out of the house. I don't have those exemptions anymore. Uh, the home is paid off. I don't have that write off anymore. And I'm finding out that as I'm pulling money out of my, out of my retirement accounts, I'm in the same bracket, if not a higher bracket than when I was working, I'm getting killed in taxes. And not only that, but now I have to be cognizant of how much money I am pulling out of my IRAs and my 401ks because if I pull X amount out, I'm at one bracket. If I pull more than X amount out, now I'm in a completely another tax bracket. He's like, I, I feel like this is Uncle Sam's uh, trust fund over here. you know. So again, if we do things based on general rules of thumb and not based upon your specific situation, you're going to run into surprises just like this because of what this gentleman was told years ago. 
So this is where we can sit down with you and say, hey, listen, you know what? Based upon your situation, the way you have things structured, maybe it makes more sense for you to do a 401k, but maybe it makes more sense for you to do a Roth. Or maybe it means you should be doing a Roth conversion. And by doing this, it'll minimize the taxation on your Social Security and also make minimize the taxation on your, on your pensions. And then when you turn 73 in the IRA, you're forced to pull the money out. Where in the Roth, you're not forced to pull out. So there's so many different strategies, so many different techniques that we have available to us that unless you sit down with somebody that specializes in this area, you're never going to know. And the problem is that sometimes we see people when it's almost too late. You know, there's some things we can do, but the earlier you do your planning, the better the, some of these strategies actually work because we have time on our side. So yeah. it, it's, it's so critical. Absolutely. I mean, you can certainly come in and chat with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group and Rick Rivera a week before, a week after you've retired. And there might be some things, obviously, they can help you with. But if you come in five, eight, ten years before Maybe they can't do a lot for you, but they can kind of help you position things. So you're in a better position when you get there. The more time they have, the more opportunities they have maybe to put you in a better position, especially because you've not really been concentrating on retirement. When you're 40 years old, you don't even think about retirement. You get into your 50s, you start thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could retire at some point. And then how can I do that? Well, Safeguard Investment Advisor Group is a retirement planning firm. It is about how to help you come up with that income, investment, tax, uh, health care, legacy plans, Social Security. When and how do we do that? That's in the income part. What about Medicare? There's Advantage plans. There's supplements. There's drug plans. How in the world do I figure all that out? That's in the health care part. So there's a lot of moving pieces here. If you'd like to just sit down and chat with the team, there is no cost whatsoever for this. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. Because of all these challenges, I think it's one of the more important phone calls you can make, especially today. 800-700-1980. Back with more of the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group right after this. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Always encourage you to check out the website to learn more about Rick and Reed and Eddie, the three guys that started this company back in 2008. They're here to help you come up with that, that really the big picture blueprint of what your retirement can look like and hopefully could look like. But the team doesn't know until you reach out. Uh, 800-700-1980 if you'd like to chat with them. And we're talking about money challenges in retirement today, health care, inflation, running out of money before we run out of life, certainly. How much do we need in that emergency fund? Hey, we're kind of in that sandwich generation as baby boomers where we've got aging parents that maybe have lasted longer than they thought they would. They need some help and adult children that maybe need some help. So yeah. there's a lot of moving parts. 800 700 1980 if you'd like to chat with Rick and the team. You can always learn more on the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. We're talking about money challenges in retirement. And certainly we were just talking about taxes. And we have that opportunity a lot of places are at our place of, of business where we work, we can do the traditional 401k. A lot of them now will do the Roth 401k. And there's some decisions to be made. It makes sense for some, maybe not for everybody. But also when you sit down with people and kind of walk people through your kind of that discovery first chat you have with them, what are your hopes and dreams for retirement? I have a feeling sometimes you might ask them questions that stump them. How much, how's my investments? Are they taxed? What does that cost basis, all that? I don't even get yeah. it all. There's other things you, know, you wanted to talk that's about. Actually, that's a, actually a, a great question because here's the thing, you know, when I talk, when we first talk about taxes, you know, to people, they just think about um, uh, income or, or maybe Ross or, or IRAs or 401ks, you know, that's on, on the surface, you know, those are the big things that come up. But what a lot of people don't realize, and this is why we do an analysis and this is where we educate people. I'll ask people when we're looking at the investments, I'll say, hey, listen, what's the cost basis on your current investments? And a lot of times I'll just get a blank stare and they're like, or what cost base method are you using on your investments? And they may say, well, uh, Rick, I, I don't know. And I'm looking at their statements and the institution, unless you had discussed it with the advisor specifically, they have a default method on, on the cost basis. I said, like, for example, there's a term called... Um, first in, first out method. And there's other ways you can uh, uh, calculate the cost based on your investment. So let me just give you a quick example, just to make it super easy. Okay. 
let's say some years ago, you know, we bought Coca-Cola at $5 a share. Then later on, we accumulated more at $10 a share. Then later on, we accumulated more at $15 a share. Now you call up your advisor and say, hey, listen, you know what? Um, I need to sell five grand of Coca-Cola or 10 grand of Coca-Cola. Well, obviously, I may want to sell those $15 shares yeah. first. I want to hold on to those $5 shares. Because if I sell, because if, if Coca-Cola is trading at 20 and I sell the $5, now I have a $15 gain I got to deal with. If I sell the $15 ones, I only have a $5 gain I got to deal with. So there's different cost-based methods that we can use for the clients to make sure that the investments are being taxed efficiently. And not only that, we can actually, the IRS allows me to use one cost-based method on one of the portfolios and a completely different cost-based method on a different part of the portfolio. Again, depending upon what we're trying to accomplish goal-wise and all the rest of it and works more efficiently for the clients. And another thing is this, I'll, in, in a lot of the workshop seminars, I'll ask people about turnover ratio. I'll say, listen, have you ever heard of turnover ratio? Do you know what turnover ratio is? Most people don't know. What it is, it's the amount of buying and selling that's going on in their portfolio within one year. So let's just say, for example, the fund has a 90% turnover ratio where they're buying and selling, buying and selling, you know, constantly within one year. Let's say there's 100 stocks in their portfolio. They sell 90 of them within one year. That's a 90% turnover ratio. If they have 100 stocks in that portfolio, they sell 50 within one year and buy a new 50 within one year, 50% turnover ratio. So I'll ask people, if there's a lot of buying and selling, buying and selling going on within your portfolio, how might that be a negative thing to you? Now, most people, their first answer, they're going to say, well, Rick, the fees, the commissions, which, which are true, because if, if there's a lot of churning going on in your account, that'll lead into your returns. But if we're talking about taxes, Mark, if they're doing a lot of buying and selling, buying and selling within one year... We talking short-term gains or long-term gains? Obviously, sure. we're talking short-term gains, which are taxed 30 to 50% higher than long-term gains. So now, because of the high turnover ratio in the portfolio, not only are you being taxed 30 to 50% higher, but just imagine the extra fees and commissions coming out on top of it. So this is just some of the areas. This is just a small part of some of the areas that we dissect for the, our clients to make sure that everything is running as efficiently as possible by controlling the things that we can actually control, you know, so just on the investments alone. So this is, that's a point that I wanted to make clear that a lot of people never think about. And again, that's when we do these surveys and we ask people, Hey, how can we don't get these things reviewed? Once again, if my tax preparer hasn't shared any ideas or the stockbroker, I assume nothing exists. Folks, don't be afraid to get a second opinion. You know, you go to the doctor to get an opinion. Don't be afraid to go to another doctor to get a second opinion. You can't be afraid to do the same thing when it comes to your investments, your taxes, and your retirement planning. This is what we do. And that is why the team has given the opportunity for you just to call them and say, hey, I've got a question here or there. Or maybe you want to really go all in. I, hey, I don't have any. I've never done an income plan, an investment strategy, a tax-efficient strategy, a health care, long-term care, a legacy, estate planning, Social Security, Medicare. There's so many things that I don't really understand can you help me walk walk me through this? Or hey, we want to be we'd love to be a client. We think we've got enough money to retire. We just don't know. We don't know about all this tax stuff that Rick was just talking about. 800 700 1980. The great thing is there's no cost to you. When you call, it doesn't mean that they're going to lock you in a room like trying to tell, sell you a timeshare. No. This is can they help you? And then if they can, then it's up to you, do you want their help? Or, do, you know, because Rick says if you come in and sit down with him, he's going to give you at least two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. So that means if you come in and sit down for 30 minutes to an hour, you're going to leave with some ideas to make things better for you and your family. That's a great opportunity for you. No cost for this. No obligation. Chat with Rick Rivera and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group just by picking up the phone and calling 800 700 1980. 800-700-1980. And we got about three minutes left, Rick. And you know, when you think about taxes, here's a stat that I've heard. Tell me if you agree with this. My grandparents were born, they were the silent generation. My parents were the greatest generation. And I'm a baby boomer. I'm 63. So my grandparents were born right around the turn of the century. My parents were born in the mid-1930s. I was born in 1959. So you think about all the different parts. My grandparents had pensions and all that. Well, I don't have that. But my grandparents, I know when they retired, and even my parents, retired to lower taxes. Well, because of the IRAs and 401ks not being taxed till we start pulling money out, the rumor is that only 4% of Americans will actually retire to lesser taxes, and the other 96% will taxes will stay the same or even go up. Do you buy that? 100%. 
and I'm seeing it all the time. And that's what I was talking about with that uh, client in the last segment where individuals, again, looking at general rules of thumb that you read on the internet, they always tell you, and again, years ago, that the, the rationale was, hey, you know what? Um, get the tax savings now because later on in life, when you retire, you'll be in a lower tax bracket, pay the taxes then. But while you're working, you still have, you know, your deductions. You still, kids are at home. You still have those um, deductions as well. And what we're finding out, especially with like teachers, police officers, firefighters, you know, that have really good pensions, they're retiring with almost the same uh, uh, salary as, as, or same pension as when they were working. So they have almost the same income, but now no longer have the write-offs because all the homes are paid off. The kids are out of the home. So now they're actually in a higher marginal tax bracket. And then, of course, if they're using their IRA or 401ks to offset income, not only does that add to your marginal, but here's the other thing. It acts like a domino effect because now whatever I pull out of my IRA or 401k has a direct impact of how much my Social Security is going to be taxed as well. So not only do I have to pay the taxes on the IRA, but I got to be careful how much I pull out of it because now that's going to cause my social security to be taxed at a higher level. And then even if you don't need the money, Mark, if you don't need the money and you're like, Hey, listen, I, I might need to dip it into emergencies here and there. Once you turn it 73 and let's say you don't need the money, they force you to pull the money out, which adds to your marginal. And then that amount that you have to pull out, let's say you got a million dollars, they force you to pull out 36, 37, not only does that add to your marginal, but then that causes your social security to be taxed more, which again is a domino effect. And each year that number keeps going up and up and up that they require you to pull, which causes you to be in a higher and higher tax bracket. So this is why the planning has to be done. So what you're saying is absolutely correct. We're seeing a lot of that. So if you would like to find out where you are on that road, it's 800-700-1980. Again, no cost, no obligation, no pressure. Rick and the team at Safeguard are here to help if they can. Uh, they'd love to sit down and hear your story. 800-700-1980. Again, is the number 800-700-1980. And again, Rick talked about events that they put on from time to time. You can always find out more about Rick and the team and the events just by going to the website, safeguardinvestment.com. Safeguardinvestment.com. The easiest way, though, to find out where you are, 800-700-1980. Rick, enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. We'll do it again next week. Great. Thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.